Longer LK4X 3D printer. Got it right here. We're going to update firmware. Ooh, scary. Doesn't have to be. It's actually quite simple. Walk you through it step by step. Coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop. What I have sitting on the table right here is the Longer LK4X. 3D printer. I've had it for quite a while and I've ran a lot of spools of filament through it. No problems. Longer did provide me with some uh, updated firmware to put in and you can get it too. It's not a secret. And I'll put a link in the description on where to get the uh, firmware for this particular printer. And then I'll explain here when we get on the computer of where to go if you have a different model or maybe you have the LK4 or you have the LK5 or there's Lots of different models, and it's the same thing with lasers when you want to upgrade your firmware. I'll explain that when we get on the computer. So first, we got to get this firmware set up. Let's go to the computer. I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple. If you don't already have the firmware and you need to get it, go here to longer3d.com, and then go over here to company. Go down here to contact us. Scroll down here and fill in this little form. Uh, tell them what model you have and then down here tell them you're requesting the firmware for your particular laser or 3D printer model and they will fix you up. Now for what I'm doing here with this LK4X, I already have the firmware for it and I will put a link to it in the description. However, keep in mind that this can change. So this may change at some point. So this is actually pretty simple. We have the firmware downloaded already. It's right here for the LK4X. And what you want to do is copy firmware.bin to a blank micro SD card. And I have one here on my USB drive D. Right here. So all I need to do is copy this to that USB drive. And then I can eject that. And then we'll get back to the printer here. Okay, once you have your firmware copied to your little micro SD card here with the printer off, just insert the card and turn the printer on. And you'll have to wait, it'll come up on the screen that it is flashing the firmware, and right now it's at 10%. And I'm not even going to show this with a camera because it's so self-explanatory. And it'll say update done, you're at 100%. Regular screen comes back up. Now, here's the important part. Turn your printer back off. Eject that card. Put it back into your card reader or whatever you're using on your computer. So I've got one right here, and I will go to that. And on the card now, it'll say firmware old. So you can either save that, in case you ever want to go back, you just rename it to firmware.bin. And I am going to save it, but you want to delete it off of that card after you have saved it somewhere. And that's all there is to it. I'll put this back in service over here. I moved it over here on the table so you could kind of get a little bit of an idea of what I was doing and what I was working with here. Again, I didn't show the screen because it's a little 10 second thing that says it's uploading and it's done and regular screen comes up and there you go. So we're back in business here. It's starting its uh, BL touch sequence. It'll go through its sequence and we're starting at another set. First set came out perfect. So as you can see, there's nothing to it. And so what's it making? It's actually making these. Uh, it makes set, sets of four. This is actually the base mount for some risers for the longer Ray 5 laser that uh, I make and we sell them. So I, once again, there's nothing to firmware. It doesn't need to be a scary proposition. And this is one of the easiest ways to do it. So if you just follow those directions there and again, make sure you delete that off of your card before you use that card again. And that holds true with uh, pretty much anything you're upgrading firmware to. Once you get done with uh, flashing firmware from a SD card, 
don't put that card back in again, you could end up with problems, especially if you have a Creality printer. That creates all kinds of nightmares there. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. And coming up shortly will be a update firmware for the LK5 longer 3D printer. Thanks for watching. Roger in the loft above the shop. We'll see you in the next one.